Hello, welcome. Um, so here I am again. I can't bloody believe it. <laughs> it's because the kids have gone gone away with their dad, so that's why I'm I'm like, oh, I can do more videos than normal. It's really good fun. Um, so this is for sort of middle middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, all right. And um, I'm gonna use this lovely deck, angelic love messages, for um, our our relationship message. And I'm going to use the um, Guardian Angel deck today, which I haven't used for a little while. I thought it'd be a nice, gentle, it's not nice, gentle energy from that deck. Um, so that is what we're going to do. <laughs> so I'm sending you lots of love wherever you are on Gaia, and I hope your week is going all right because I know what it's like living on Gaia. It's not very easy, is it? <laughs> Especially for those of us in this soul family. If you watch this channel a lot, you know, we, we, we are in a soul family because I spoke to so many of you and we have very similar lives, very similar experiences. I mean, it's mind blowing sometimes we even look the same, which is mad. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, so, um, you know, you've always got my love. And um, if you want to book in for a session, you can. Um, and um, also you can say so you can book in for tarot but i do do astrology sessions now as well which i do find help because even if you've had i've had lots of people say they've had their astrology chart done but they just felt totally overwhelmed with all the information that you get from an astrology chart um and uh, i just i pick out certain areas that are really key to, to discuss with you and i think it really helps in terms of getting clarity on why you've got certain repeating problems in your life. If you've got repeating problems in your life that you never seem to be able to break, let me do your astrology because it can really help, okay? Okay, so um, we're just gonna go into it really. Um, I'm gonna use the Brian Froud deck for the mental health, how we're feeling at the moment. So I've got Taurus, Taurus for middle of the week. Okay, diving deep, having some fun. <laughs> the spirit's encouraging you at the moment and you, you're being guided to dive a little bit deeper into who you really are. So starting to feel even more knowledgeable about yourself, discovering things about yourself you maybe you didn't know before, you know, and things starting to make sense and also giving yourself permission to just be you, you know? Um, so you might even be starting to realise why you've had certain habits or addictions. <laughs> um, your relationship card is rather nice here, saying make a wish. So it is all about uh, spirit at the moment lining you up with the true you. You know, what is it you really want? Who are you really and what is it that is right for you and what would you really like? Um, so yeah, that's kind of what they're lining you up with really. Your wish is fulfilled, which is nice. So you've been through some sort of spiritual initiation lately. So you will have been through some sort of spiritual test that was probably very difficult to manage and deal with. Um, you might still be dealing with that slightly, um, but you are moving forward now. You're really starting to make progress. Um, and what's coming up very soon for you is a decision. And this decision is gonna be the beginning of a new chapter for you that's gonna be much happier. Um, so the spirit is working behind the scenes and supporting all of this. So it is divinely guided. It's happening at the divine time in your life. The energy of the people around you or a particular person, um, we've got the Hermit card, okay? So this person is going through a period of time where they're quite alone and they need to raise their consciousness. They need to become more aware of a lot of things. And so spirit is making them spend a lot of time alone, okay? Um, and they've also got the full card, 
So this person is about to embark on a new uh, chapter, a little bit like you. Um, this person might be a bit triggered at the moment because this is all new for them and they might be a bit fearful, okay? Or there could be new people coming into your life as well. Uh, somebody here is saying that you came closer than anybody else, okay? Let's have a look what your spirit guides are supporting you with. Healer of abundance. Okay, so it's quite a long message, so I'm going to read this out to you. Healer of abundance. Okay, so this is the queen of pentacles. So their spirit is actually helping you to cultivate a vision for your life. Um, you will be receiving visions. Um, and it's all about you becoming more grounded and centred in who you really are at this time. And spirit is helping you to do that. Spirit is strengthening you so that you are more rooted in your true self um, and also abundant money. Uh, never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. You are going to succeed in the longer term no matter how crazy it may seem to you right now. Um, it might be time to expand your career. Um, don't forget to leave time for family, or if we're not talking family, we're talking soul family, yeah? Um, this situation involves a person who is down to earth with a gift for design or decorating. <laughs> okay, so what they're saying is, spirit knows that you are creative all right Taurus and they they are really getting you to look at your creativities and have more confidence in your creativities to do things that are probably outside of the box um and you are open-minded and you are nurturing as well so that is the card there so there's there's this whole thing at the moment. It's, it's quite an intense time for you, Taurus. Um, and it's it's a time for you to understand, I, f I feel from these cards, what Spirit is saying, it's a time for Taurus to really start understanding yourself on a much deeper level. Um, why have I had these habits? Why have I had these addictions? Um, you know, and you recently overcome a massive cycle or pattern or habit or addiction. You've recently overcome something that was difficult, but you are now making progress with it. And soon enough, you're gonna be making a decision that is big um, and it's the beginning of a very important chapter for you, a much happier chapter. Um, and it's all about you really embracing your talents um, that might seem a little bit, uh, unusual yeah because if you look at the cards quite unusual person there <laughs> um but you know spirit is supporting you with this and saying you know this is what you're meant to be doing this is how you're meant to be living your life you know and i know Taurus, you you do want stability but it's like you can only get that stability by being the real you and that's what's going on okay so lovely time for you at the moment although it may feel a bit intense and like I said you've got somebody here who is they're being forced I'll be honest with you they're being forced to step out on their own and be responsible for themselves be responsible for their own journey and try new things go go outside of their comfort zone Okay, because spirit really wants this person to learn and it's a steep learning curve for this person at the moment. So, we're going to Virgo. Virgo for middle of the week. Ooh. <laughs> Ecstasy. Oh, very nice. How are you enjoying yourself more? Ecstasy. I mean, this is like all the all the lights in your head switching on something is happening for you here that is freaking amazing ahead wow focus on what is in front 
They want you to be very present at the moment. They don't want you to be too much in your mind. They want you to just be focusing on the here and now because something incredible is definitely happening in the here and now for you. Wow. You've got the world cards. So you've just completed a major cycle, okay? And I feel like you might have shut down um, an old karmic pattern recently. Um, and it could have been something in your head that you were doing um, or something externally as well. And it's like you've brought it to a close. It's like you've raised your level of consciousness and you now realise, shit, I don't want to be doing this anymore. <laughs> I, I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to worry about this anymore. I don't need to function like that anymore whatever I don't need to think like that anymore and, and it's a major success for you to be able to finally have clarity it's like you're seeing things much more clear and that's why it's like ecstasy energy being released because it's a major breakthrough um and you're committing to yourself with the hierophant card um both these cards represent a heightening of your consciousness levels at this time Virgo so you will be seeing certain things in your life now a lot more clearly and understanding yourself a lot more clearly as well your perception is really getting clearer um and um that's going to be obviously really helpful for you because you're going to be able to approach things in a more, more conscious way um you know and you're also going to be able to look after yourself better as well um okay so the person connected to you has the three of cups um so they've been sort of trying to enjoy their life more and um, they've been trying to basically celebrate more enjoy their life more try, they're trying to be a little bit more sociable um they're also in their own way trying to heal themselves okay um and then they've got the wheel of fortune all right and it's in reversed okay and i don't normally read major arcana cards reversed so I'm not taking it completely reversed. I mean, it just feels that this person's on the verge of like a major, um, you know, major good fortune or something finally moving forward for them in their favour. But it's probably not quite there, but it's due. This person is due some good luck. They're due good luck and... Uh, it's not far off <clears throat> okay it's like um i feel with the wheel of fortune it represents destiny yeah and it's like they're on the verge of something happening that's part of their destiny and on some level excuse me <clears throat> it's really annoying my voice does this <laughs> right on some level this person is resisting their destiny perhaps yeah um, it says here, I lost myself for a little while. I hadn't actually read that card when I said that they they might be resisting it. So th they're, they're on the verge of, <clears throat> if they stop resisting, their destiny is going to happen. They've ha You can't fight destiny because spirit has a predestined plan for all of us. What can happen is we can delay destiny because we get caught up in too much other stuff. And this person may have got caught up in messing around with too many people or too much drama in their life, you know, um, or just being frivolous, <laughs> right? And I, I just feel like Spirit is saying, well, as much as they want to fight destiny, it's not going to work. Um, they're... Their energy is obviously saying that they have been lost anyway. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I think it's cleared now. You know, this person holds back, no doubt, on what they say. Organisation. So spirit is helping you with your plans. Your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organisation or discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone, very intellectual, or seek out a mentor. All right, so 
This is the um, Emperor in the tarot, and the Emperor is all about being more rational. Spirit is supporting you at the moment, Virgo, to be more rational over some kind of um, thing that you were doing, okay? It was either stuff you were thinking about or something you were doing, and they're getting you to be much more rational about it. Um, so you'll be if you're surprised at the moment and thinking, God, like, how am I doing this? Like, I never could normally do this. It's because someone in spirit is helping you, right? And um, then they're, they're, all the movement is moving forward for Virgo at the moment. They really, this is confirmation for you. They really don't want you to look back. And um, they just want you to be very present and to be moving forward, okay? There is definitely a karmic cycle. You were probably paying back karma. I think I've said that a couple of times lately to Virgo. And it just feels like you have completed some sort of karma that needed to be paid back. And now you're moving to a higher state of clarity and consciousness, which is going to serve you very well because you're going to be more rational. You're going to be more productive now. Um, you're going to be happier now. Um, and your person, like I said, it seems like there's somebody connected to you that is destined to be in your life and connected to you, but they are either have either not been quite brought into your life yet or they're sort of have, they've got a bit of resistance because they've had too many they've been distracting themselves I think with silly things <laughs> okay so that's that is a message um right let's go into Capricorn Capricorn for the middle of the week A collection of pixies they want you to have fun and you're going to find yourself having fun doing the simplest things um feeling more light okay um and it's just all about you really yeah just being more happy and having more fun really with life at the moment um they're also talking about value um value yourself and as you value yourself the value of your relationships increases as well um so self-value so everything's got to come from self first but you are by having more fun enjoying things more and having more value for yourself um you know valuing your energy valuing your time um that is going to ripple out into your relationships and so you're in the process of manifesting more valuable relationships you know you may even notice as well that you there are certain people in your life that you are valuing more now already um you've got two major arcana cards so it is quite intense at the moment for capricorn um but in a positive way because you have got the temperance here which is a very healing card. You've had to do a lot of healing lately and um, you've had to kind of go easy on yourself. You know, you've been reconfiguring things so that you're more aligned to your true self. And um, that is very good because your life is already starting to improve a bit this week. Um, and uh, the energy seems calmer. Now, you've got the lover's card, so there is a mystery here. <laughs> so some of you might still have a bit of a mystery about love um, or something still is remaining a bit mysterious to you and you don't have all the information at the moment. Um, so that's probably a bit testing um, and that's why it's so important for you to just keep coming back to yourself all the time keep valuing your energy um you know you've got the two of cups here actually flipped over which is interesting because that is about union with yourself first before you then manifest a relationship so there is definitely something happening here for capricorn whereby you're healing yourself and you're just being more true to yourself 
um, and it's setting you in a good direction and it helps you to cope with the fact that there is this still this question mark going on in your life. Uh, and maybe in more than one area, there might be question marks over a couple of different things in your life at the moment. Um, so the person you're connected to, there's a very good energy here. And I would say this is somebody who is a friend type of relationship. Um, could be a family member, could be um, a friend, could be even somebody you know through work or something like that. Um, they've got the six of pentacles, so this is somebody that's got a good balanced energy. And they've also got the knight of cups. This is somebody that actually cares about you emotionally and spiritually. So that is really a lovely person in your life, okay? It could also be the energy of somebody you're manifesting. So I already said with the value card and the temperance, it's like you're realigning everything, Capricorn. You know, you're realigning things and really learning to connect to yourself better. And so you're actually manifesting love. You are. <laughs> you might think, Kerry, I, I want to see it, but you are manifesting love and, and that is the ultimate thing for Capricorn to manifest love and really through through yourself first through the divine there is somebody here saying I wish I could take back my words so somebody is sorry I think you're at peace I think you're at peace with things and you found your you you've you're finding your peaceful center at the moment so you you can be at peace um about that person but you sort of just at the moment you might just be a bit like oh i want to know what's going on what's going to happen with this situation over here and spirit's not giving a lot away but what the spirit is saying is you are manifesting um love and in the meantime, you could well have a friend or somebody who is very spiritually caring and giving. Um, right, so your spirit guides are saying, okay, you've got the Ten of Wands, right? So there might still be something you need to sort of give up. Um, you're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career or you know, I always say in our soul family, we don't necessarily have careers. It, whatever your life purpose is, whether that's family responsibilities, um, looking after your own life, uh, your goals and interests, okay? They want you to find a healthy balance with things at the moment. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health, right? So there's going to be some sort of like surprising uh, thing that can happen to help you at the moment. Um, and it's going to make your life a bit easier when you figure out what that is. And it's you're going to figure it out pretty soon. Um, and it's going to massively help you um, to find life a bit easier. Um, and it could be something quite small that just you change your approach or but it makes a big difference for you. So basically, it's like Cap Capricorn, you are centering, you are finding yourself love, you are manifesting love, right? You're in that process. There is some information that's going to get revealed to you that you're still waiting for. But in the meantime, you've got the right people around you or you've got a friend, somebody like that. Um, and it's all about you enjoying things more and trying to make things more simple. And like I said, there's going to be some sort of solution or <laughs> something that happens. And it's like, oh, wow, because I've stopped, if I stop doing that or I change that, it's making everything else a bit easier for me. So... We will go into Aquarius. Aquarius.
singer of courage okay so it's taking courage at the moment for you to keep moving forward it's not always easy at the moment I think it's not always easy for you to <clears throat> you know look after yourself because you're so busy looking after everybody else you know um afraid it's time to let go of any insecurities so they know that things are not easy at the moment and they know that it takes courage for you to really just liberate yourself and do what's right for you and put yourself first um you know and um intimacy as well yeah you've got the knight of cups look at that so you are starting to spiritually align to yourself very very well this is not the page of cups this is the knight of cups so you're already a little way along the journey aquarius you know you you being you've been kinder to yourself for a while now which is really good so your energy is just becoming much nicer and you've got the wheel of fortune coming in so you have got money coming in right unexpectedly and you've got good fortune you've also you're also about to go through something that is predestined now everything is predestined but it, this would be something quite big probably something that you never really thought would happen and it you're, it's about to happen okay and it's happening because you've finally allowed yourself to accept yourself and you've taken that courage you know to honor your feelings and your spirituality and everything like that so something really good is about to happen that was always predestined to happen um now the energy of people around you you've got here the four of swords so you know there's somebody here who's being a bit more wise <laughs> they're thinking about you um and they are trying to be more wise about how they proceed with things um and they've got the page of cups so somebody could either be apologising to you or they could be, in a way, mirroring what you're doing and starting to be more kinder to themselves, you know. Um, but there could be love between you and this person. There is great sensitivity. I'm seeing you being more sensitive to yourself and this person is sensitive to themselves as well, which is a really... It's like two sensitive souls here. Um, this person's trying to enjoy life a bit more. You're trying to enjoy life a bit more, but it takes courage. It's not easy. Um, and somebody says you came closer than anyone. So somebody does really think about everything you've done, you know, and it's like, wow. It means a lot to them. So you've got the Four of Cups, which is, it's like Spirit is trying to help you open up to the possibilities right now. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you. Daydream, daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you can act upon your dreams. Yeah, I mean, I don't really encourage daydreaming because it, you can get lost in a web of mind activity. But um, basically, spirit is trying to help you open up to the fact that there is something very good about to happen that is predestined so don't kind of get they don't want you to be too down in the dumps at the moment because life is actually about to get a lot better for aquarius um you know and it's all because of 
the self-love and the work you've been doing on yourself, you, you are manifesting this very... Um, there's just good news coming in, honestly. Um, and I feel more intimacy, okay? So let's go into Gemini. Have a cup of tea. Still drinking normal tea today. <laughs> I, d I definitely drink more um, normal tea in the summer holidays when I've got the kids off. <laughs> Keeps me going. Right, Gemini. Honesty. Okay, being really, really honest with yourself at the moment. Beautiful. Seeing things a lot more clearly. You know, looking at things with your eyes wide open. Being realistic and being real with yourself. Not an easy thing to do. It takes a lot of courage, doesn't it? Curiosity. Learn to be curious about each other. Okay, so there is a lot that you are learning at the moment, Gemini. You know, there is a lot that you're learning about and it's important Spirit is saying not to put any barriers on what you're learning um, or don't put any barriers on your life at the moment because you don't know what is going to unfold. But lots is unfolding at the moment. Okay, so there's been a hell of a lot going on for you lately. <laughs> And you might have felt a little bit overwhelmed with the amount that has been going on. Eight of Wands, right? Now, the good news is that it's all progress. It's all progress in a positive direction, but it might have felt very intense. And you might even be feeling a bit tired, you know? Um, and you could have been receiving a lot of messages or lots of information. Now, you've got the Hierophant card, which is great. Your level of consciousness is going up. What this means is you are committing much more to yourself. But you're also seeing more clearly, like your, your consciousness level is raising. Like if you've been depressed or you've been had problems with your life, you're going to notice that your vibration is increasing. Yeah. And um, so you're on a good road. You're actually on a very good road at the moment. Yeah, and you're well protected by spirit at the moment. So you, ha you have connected with somebody with the King of Cups. So this is like a spirit guide that is supporting you. Someone in spirit is supporting you, Gemini. But it could also equally be a friend as well. There may be a friend or somebody that you're connected with who's, you know, helps you. Okay. Um, and this person also has a Two of Cups. So this person might get a bit confused at the moment. But it's all because they're trying to learn who they really are. You know, who am I really as opposed to the mask that I have been wearing? So it's an interesting, it's an interesting sort of two cards really to describe the same person. Because on the one hand, this person is protective or kind to you. Um, or they're in their mastery or they appear to be in their mastery, you know, with their emotions. But underneath it, this person actually has still got some things that they get confused on. But they're on this path of self-discovery, which is, you know, it's a difficult path, isn't it? <laughs> but it's also an amazing path. And that is confirmation that your person is actually really, when they're confused or they irritate you, it's basically because they're trying to learn who they actually are, you know? Um, but I would say to you, the fact this person has the King of Cups, this person is a good person in your life, okay? They are a good person in your life, and they have been brought to you by spirit. Okay, so there's somebody saying, I wish I could take my words back. So... Could be this person, <laughs> could be somebody else. But somebody wishes that they hadn't said certain things and they sort of regret it now. 
you know so the the energy of honesty is very interesting because that was your first card um you know you but also people around you at the moment learning a hell of a lot about themselves Okay, so your spirit guides are supporting you with the two of cups. Oh, very nice. Um, a relationship grows closer as two people fall in love or a common relationship grows much stronger. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. Mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Do not give up on relationships that feel challenging to you because there is still hope. Okay, so there could be reunions, there could be reconciliations. You may find particular relationships um you grow in a stronger bond and understanding um you know and and spirit is supporting all of this um so there's a hell of a lot going on for gemini at the moment <laughs> a hell of a lot so it's a, it really is a time of a lot of learning but then you know you're gemini you love all of that you love the you love feeling spot inspired and you love the variety and that is definitely what you are getting okay so let's go into libra excuse me okay libra okay feeling a bit undecided at the moment <laughs> It's like, do I do this? Do I do that? Am I doing the right thing? Or am I not doing the right thing? Oh dear. We do get like that, don't we? Because as Libras, we can see so many different sides of the coin. <laughs> More than most people. And it's so... Ask. Ask the angels for help. So you can just say to spirit, and it's just a good reminder, isn't it? You know, what I would really like is this. How can I get that? You know, or just feel it in your heart. You know, I really, really would like this. Um, just connect with that feeling and then just let it go. Spirit will find a way, you know. Especially if you're not sure about something, you know, spirit will find a way to confirm your answer. So, you're in a good position. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, oh, the Wheel of Fortunes here as well. So, um, that, look, that's the indecision. Isn't that interesting? There's a few cards that just flipped over and that one just flipped over. That's very much like that card. Yeah, so, but this is all predestined, all right? It's all predestined. And you, what is happening is you've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is the beginning of a very good chapter for you that's going to bring you more money. Um, and um, it's going to bring you better health. So um fear not <laughs> okay fear not you've got the three of wands um spirit is confirming that in the next few days you're going to realize yeah you know i'm in i'm actually in a good position what on earth am i worrying about i'm in a good position now to proceed with some different things in my life in a much healthier better way um you know, and it's all predestined at this time that this was going to come together. It's very good news for Libra because you have been through quite an, an extensive and a difficult journey. Um, now, your person is saying, I am becoming a better person. So that's quite nice, isn't it? They've got the world card, so they are coming to the end of a cycle. There was a chapter in their life that would have been very hard to break. You know, there was something they were doing that was not good. 
and it needed to end, um, but they had to pay back karma, and that's why it was just rambling on, rambling on, rambling on. But that chapter is well and truly shut down, and the spirit will not be allowing that person to go back to that old chapter. Now, they're going to feel a bit triggered at the moment because they can sense that chapter of their life is over, and they're sort of, their mind, like the ego doesn't like waiting. You know, once we finish one chapter, the ego always wants to rush into the next chapter. <laughs> And that's kind of what's happening with your person. They're thinking way too much um, and they just need to calm down, honestly. So let's see what spirit's helping you with, Libra. Uh, seven of Pentacles. So this is all about the long term. Um, slow, steady progress. Everything finally coming together for you. Have patience. Sometimes dreams grow slowly and don't worry. The hard work you have invested will bring about a bountiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will move forward quickly, you know, soon enough. Um, so use this time to rest and plan. Yeah. So the, the things in your life that you want to manifest, you know, that you have probably already been asking for, um, you don't need to rush any decisions at this current time. Because it's all happening as per the divine plan. And you're actually going to reap the rewards. Things will come into blossom for you. So um, I feel that, you know, the relationship you want, the health that you want, the, the life purpose you want, is all coming together because you're in a good position. And this is the beginning of a much better chapter for you. Um, and you just need to... Just temper your ego down, have patience, don't rush any decisions because it's all happening for you, Libra. I think you'll get clarity quite soon, confirmation quite soon, um, that actually things are going in the right direction now, okay? So we go into uh, Leo next. Leo. Okay, you've got Singer of the Chalice. They're saying to you to be open. Don't shut down, all right? <laughs> Don't shut down to the possibilities. Don't rush to think anything negative at this time. Just remain open because things are better than they seem, you know? Return. Someone from your past may return. So, I mean, it could be an X for some of you, but it also, it can just mean that you sort of find that things are going to come together for you. And so don't shut down from stuff because you'll be surprised that actually everything's fine and you're going to receive everything you know don't be too quick to judge or too quick to you know turn away from things keep open you've been working really really hard genuinely to improve your life to get yourself in a better position um very consistent you know like you have been dogmatic about rebuilding everything you know and doing what you need to do so you've been very focused you know um and you are going to become an expert in your area okay um now the magician called next which is fantastic this week you are raising your vibration that little bit higher which is fantastic because it means that you then enter into this energy where you can receive. And that's what Spirit is saying in this reading. They want you to be open to receive. So don't drop your energy down. They're bringing your energy up and you're going to have the magic touch and you're going to be receiving great things. Great things. Um, now, somebody that you're connected to has got the Queen of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups. So 
Um, this person is actually very grounded. They're actually going to do well with money later on in life. Um, this person doesn't have to be a woman, you know, it can be any energy. Um, they are basically doing much better at the moment and they are receiving visions of their life and, and how it is going to proceed. So they've got things in hand here quite nicely. Um, sometimes they can be a bit blunt, <laughs> okay, but they do have a good heart. And um, they've got the Eight of Cups. They are moving on from troubled times. Um, they are also going to be getting a lot more clarity as well and start seeing things a lot more clearly. Um, somebody here is saying you were the best thing in my life. So somebody really realising the loss of you <laughs> and... Well, there is nothing you can do because you've already moved on. You know, you're already rebuilding. So that person's got regrets. Whoever that person was, nothing you can do about that. You know, you're raising your vibration this week. You will be, you're opening up to receive. So don't panic is what I'm saying. Don't panic that you're going to not get what you deserve or not get treated the right way you should be treated. You are. You are. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, there's somebody here that is in your life who is a very good person, who is, like I said, can be a bit blunt maybe or not overly emotional at times, but they really are, um, they're, they're, they are there for you. This person is there for you. This person is like... A rock really um and they're getting more clarity and visions all the time about their life okay they're moving forward from th their troubles so let's see what your spirit guides are helping you with you know that could be a friend who's really inspiring um or a lover that person but it's somebody that is good for you, all right, this person is good for you. Four of Cups, okay, there are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered, but you aren't noticing or trusting. <laughs> See, that's what I said, you've got to be open to receive. It's... <sighs> Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams. Yeah, don't get lost in mind activity. That's the thing when you start daydreaming and it could be like a whole web of thoughts. That, that can be a bit messy. <laughs> but definitely just going within and centering yourself and raising your vibration. That's basically what you're doing this week. And Spirit's helping you to do it so that you're going to notice actually there's actually loads of good stuff around you and you'll be surprised. Something's about to turn for you. Okay, something is about to turn. So it's just stay centred and patient just for a little bit longer. Right, let's go into um, Aries. You've got the dark lady, right? So you are at this time, doesn't matter what gender, sexuality you are, um, this is just about you going within. This is about you being a bit private and a bit mysterious <laughs> about what you're up to. Okay. You need to. You need to get in touch with you, you know? 